You must have heard doctors saying our body is like machine. But how is that possible? In our body, different organs are assigned with different tasks. Like any machine, these organs need power. We get power from food. We all know that. But how food reaches every organ? Through blood. Our blood runs through pipe-like structure. These pipe-like structures are called blood vessels. The heart is like a pump that creates a pressure to make the blood flow through these pipes. Now, some blood vessels carry blood from the heart. Means, heart sends blood to different organs through these blood vessels. These are called arteries. How blood gets the food and how it serves food to other organs if it stay inside the vessels only. On reaching an organ or tissue, the arteries divide into very thin tubes. These are called capillaries. These tubes has very thin wall with pores. Small molecules like oxygen, glucose, amino acid, etc. can exit capillaries to reach tissues easily through diffusion process. Carbon dioxide waste from cell enters the thin tubes through these pores too. These thin tubes again get fused together to form veins. Veins carry blood to the heart. Look at the differences between three types of blood vessels. Arteries have very thick wall because it has to keep the pressure created by pumping a heart. Capillaries have very very thin single layer wall, so blood can supply air, food to the tissues through pores in this wall. Vein wall is again thick but not as thick as artery wall. Are we missing something? We know how blood supplies air, food, etc. But how does it get those in the first place? We all know about tiny fingers like parts on the inner wall of intestine. Yes, really. Really absorb digested food from intestine. Those really have capillaries inside them and digested food are simple molecular substances like glucose, amino acid, etc. which can enter capillaries very easily. Our lungs has around 300 million alveoli which are actually small air sacs. The air we breathe in goes through bronchus, bronchioles and end up here in alveoli. By the way, alveolus is singular form of alveoli. Both alveolus or capillary wall are very thin, so blood can easily take in oxygen from alveoli. If we think about it, blood is a liquid only, but our body is so amazingly designed that this liquid has become medium of transportation of all gases as well as solids. Heart is the pump that is generating the pressure to keep this transportation system running. We can feel the heartbeat if we place the middle and index finger of our right hand on the inner side of left wrist. Yes, it's your pulse. And the moment this pump stops, the whole transportation system stops. Due to lack of oxygen, all organs die soon. First, our brain. So, take care of your heart.